Hey there guys, this is Mr. Herbst and I'm uh, over here at one of my two saltwater tanks that I have at home. Uh, you guys in class showed some interest in, in my uh, Mexican turbo snails called, uh, I named them all Eduardo. So over here I have one, two, three Eduardos. I got a fourth one right here and then if you look closely there's one in the back there and then there's also one that is uh, stuck to my filter right now. Um, anyway guys, these are pretty cool snails because if you take a close look here, uh, not only can you see his uh, mouth opening and closing there, he's eating algae right now, but you can also see that there's the uh, little slit down the middle of his foot here. So these snails are capable of reaching very high speeds, at least you know in snail terms. Uh, they can move each one of those feet independently, so they can sort of like kind of walk across the glass. Ooh, here's a good one. Here's a... Uh, one of the Eduardo's doing it right now. So you can take a really, if you look really closely here, he's putting one foot in front of the other. Kind of like watching paint dry, huh? Uh, so anyway, let's move on. Let's look at what else we got going on in this tank here. Uh, right over here is one of my, uh, this is a starfish. He's a red spiky starfish. And he'll eat about anything he can get his hands on. And then here is a piece of coral that I named Fluffy because, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, way over here is one of my favorite corals. This is called uh, Star Polyp Coral. And each one of those little things you see sticking out of that purple, leathery-looking, uh, you know, base that you see there is about maybe a couple centimeters tall. It actually grew a lot since I've owned it. And i got a whole bunch of like, you know, algae plants here that are really good cover for some small organisms. And up here, one of my favorite coral is this stuff called Xenia with an X. And it's actually really hardy coral, very easy to grow. And you can see how cool it is, how it opens and closes its hands like that. So um, anyway, I, I gave them a name, but the name is probably not very uh, school appropriate. So I'm not going to go ahead and share you his name. Uh, I've got a couple of Nemo's in here, so they're pretty cute. Um, I've got a couple of these uh, blue fish, they're called damselfish. And then over here I've got a piece of coral that I, uh, I actually, he's kind of mad right now. Usually he's really fluffy and huge, but he's kind of mad because I chopped one of his arms off yesterday. Because I, uh, I, I believe it or not, as weird as that sounds, when you chop the arms off a coral, you can glue them, like super glue them to rocks, and you can actually make them grow a whole nother coral from that one little arm that you chopped off. And uh, over here is one of my favorite dudes. He's the uh, red fire shrimp that I have. And he, uh, if I stick my hand in there, sometimes he'll go out and try to attack my hand. Or at least he'll try to look for food or something on it. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he's kind of scared. Well, to be honest, you know, and to be to be uh, fair, I'd be probably pretty scared of my giant hand too. So, anyway, folks, uh, that is one of my two saltwater tanks that I have at home. So hopefully you learned a little bit, and uh, let me know if you guys need any help with anything. All right, talk to you tomorrow.